Is there such a thing as seasonal superfood for your brain? Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory challenges and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a teacher for over 30 years, I've learned to take advantage of teachable moments. So what are teachable moments? Teachable moments are opportunities to get a better understanding. They're usually unexpected, but they're opportunities that you can give the kids a better understanding of what's going on. Now, did you catch my last video? The video I did a few days ago, it was about the season that we are now in. Cherry season! Woohoo! Now, if you didn't catch that video, it was about cherries, and I have it on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel, Keep Your Brain Sharp. So you can go either of those places and find that little short clip that I did a few days ago. But today, I want to to continue talking about cherries as a superfood for your brain and how it affects the rest of your body as well. Okay, so as I said, teachers take advantage of every teachable moment and we should take advantage of every opportunity to boost our brain. And cherry season is one of those opportunities because for about three months, about a hundred days from May, June to July, cherries are everywhere and they're right for the picking. So the bottom line with all that is eat them, eat up during this hundred day period. Okay. So why should you do that? I know, I hear some of you saying, you know, what's so wonderful about this season? Because I can go in the store any time of the year and get frozen cherries and get juice, cherry juice in bottles, get dried cherries. So why, what's the big deal about me taking advantage right now? That is a good question. And I'm about to address that. There's three major reasons why that's something that you should do. Take advantage of the cherries when they're in season. Now, the first one has to do with the rule of thumb. There's a rule of thumb where just about all all the time, fresh is best. So if you can get anything fresh, usually that's what you should do. Get it fresh. Because And we know that anything that's found in the stores, frozen, dried, or in juice in bottles, has what? Been processed. Processing has gone on to get that into your store. So we're talking about damage, destroying, and even contaminating your cherries, okay? Now, the contaminants are affecting the nutrients that are in there, the phytochemicals and the vitamins and the minerals and even the fiber. So it varies, all that damage varies depending on the kind of processing that it's undergone. It can be minimally processed or all the way to ultra process, but there's some processing that's going on. So you're losing some things and you may be gaining some things that you didn't want. All right. Okay. So processing is the reason why you want to get it fresh and especially when it's in season out. Don't get me wrong because I'm not saying don't eat frozen cherries or dried cherries or juiced cherries. I'm all for that. Here's the deal though. Freeze them, dry them, Juice them yourself whenever you can, because then you're not getting the contamination that might be in there from processing. You're not getting other things. And if you're getting cherries that are ripe, fresh in the peak season, you're getting more nutrients, which leads me to my second one, which is the freshness and the flavor of the cherries is more potent when they're in season. Like I said, you're getting more nutrients because they've waited, given them the chance to get everything in there. I want everything. I don't want to be shortchanged, nothing. I want everything in there. So you have everything in there, more nutrients and less lectins. Now, lectins are those plant poisons. They're protective things the plant does to keep the insects and predators and whatever from eating the cherries and other fruits and vegetables, eating the fruit before the seeds have developed 
in case so that they can continue on and they won't become extinct. They don't, don't eat them too soon. So they have these plant poisons that they naturally produce while the fruit is not ripe. And as it ripens, it decreases the amount of lectins that they are producing. So by the time it gets ripe, it's the least amount of lectins that are still in the plant. So you want them to be ripe. So if you're picking during the peak season when they're fresh, May, June, July, you're getting less lectins, less of those poisons in your system. Okay, another thing, the price. And you and I know, let's be honest, you and I know that cherries are not the cheapest thing in the world. They're not one of the cheapest fruit that you can buy. So it's very important that you take advantage of their peak season because when things are plentiful, when they're bountiful, right, the price likely will go down. And also cherries are bruised easily and they spoil easily. And so the people that are selling them want to get rid of them. And so if people are not buying them um, as readily as they would like them to, guess what they're going to do? They're going to lower the price so that you'll buy them. So that's an opportune time for you to get cherries when they are in their peak season. The other thing we're going to talk about is the benefits, the benefits that you get especially your brain from eating cherries. Okay, so let's talk first about your brain. So with your brain, it helps you sleep better. It has melatonin in it, naturally produces melatonin. And so you eat cherries, you'll have better sleep, better memory, better blood sugar levels because the skin on the cherries actually has fiber, which is going to help balance your blood sugar, okay? And it also will ease your pain, Cherries deal with inflammation, so it's going to ease your pain, ease your headaches, especially your tension headaches, and also ease your cognitive decline. Guys, are you excited or what? I love cherries, so those that's all good for me because I love to eat them, and it's going to do all those things for my brain. But it does not just do good things for your brain. It also does, does good things for your whole body. So we're talking about protecting your heart because it lowers cholesterol. We're talking about helping you with your diabetes because guess what? We talked about the blood sugar levels, okay? It's going to more balance those blood sugar levels. So it's going to help you with diabetes. It helps you with your heart. It helps you with arthritis and gout because with the inflammation benefits from it. it. Helps you deal with that, not just the inflammation in your brain, but the inflammation in all of your body. It also lowers your risk of cancer. So guys, look. I don't see a downside. However, I have to tell you, this is just a little warning. Not everyone can just pig out on cherries. Some people are sensitive to one of the chemical compounds that are in cherries. And if they eat too many of them, it gives them diarrhea or it gives them an upset stomach. So that's just a warning. So, you know, so don't if you pig out and that happens to you, you may need to back off a little bit, you know. So do you, knowing that that might happen. But however, my mother, that was not a problem with her. My mother loved cherries. And every cherry season, she would bring cherries not by the little box or basket. She would bring them by the crate. She would buy them by the crate. She called the store up and see if they had, she could buy a crate of cherries and she would eat them too. She loved cherries and she took advantage of every cherry season. And when she was on in years and she got up in years, the doctors were always saying she is as sharp as a tack. And that's one of the benefits the cherries may give you. Mm -hmm. It's ease that cognitive decline and give you that cognitive, better cognitive functioning. Mm -hmm. Better memory. Okay, so I was a witness of seeing my mom eat cherries and seeing her Stay as sharp as a tack. Okay, so, all right. Before I leave you, I need to talk about organic produce because guess what? You may have guessed it. Cherries are on the dirty dozen list. The EWG has made a list and they put it out every year of the 12 foods that are have the most pesticide residue that tested for the most pesticide residue and the clean 15, the ones who are the 15 that were the cleanest. Cherries are not on the clean 15, guys. Cherries are on 30 dozen, and they have been year after year after year because they spray, they get sprayed a lot, not just once. They get sprayed a lot, okay? So they're going to have that pesticide residue on them unless you're buying organic. So if you possibly can, 
If you can fiddle your budget around, move things around, change things up, whatever you need to do, buy in peak season, which is now when they're going to be cheaper, okay, and get them organic, that is definitely the way to go. However, if you just cannot make it work for you to get them organic, that does not mean don't eat cherries. That means wash them as clean as you can, knowing that you're still going to have some pesticide residue on there. But EWG has recommended, and a lot of people confer, that it's better that you eat the non-organic produce or the non-organic fruits and vegetables. It's better that you eat those rather than not eat any at all. There's so many benefits to gain, and we talked about a lot of them regarding cherries, from eating them. to Don't let that stop you from eating them at all. Just do the best you can and try to get to the point where you can get organic at least some of the time, okay? All right, so guys, I want to tell you about what's happening on my Keep Your Brain Sharp Facebook pages for the month of June because we're going to be talking about cherries and berries. So if you want to get some real good information and some real good recipes and some real good video demos on everything you ever want to know about cherries, that is the place to be. So if you are not already a member of my Keep Your Brain Sharp community, that's a free page you can get on there and we're going to start tomorrow. We're going to start June 1st with that cherry and berry theme. You do not want to miss it because your brain's destiny is in your hands.